Section 385 of the Lincoln Storybook by Henry L. Williams. The Fearlessness of the God Fearing. Read for LibriVox.org by Christine. The Fearlessness of the God Fearing. Lincoln said that by the death of his son Willie he was touched, by the victory of Gettysburg made a believer. It is plain that after this, a fortitude replaced the despondency stamping him. It may be due to this conviction of being one of the chosen, like Cromwell and Gordon, soldiers of Christ, that he met all adjurations for him to take care of his precious life with fanatical unconcern. He communicated to the cabinet, at the close of the conflict, how he had appointed to confer alone, and without guards to terrify the emissary, a noted confederate. They were to discuss peace, and by that word Lincoln was drawn to any one. He answered the cautions with a simple saying, I am but an individual, and my removal will not in any way advance the other folks in their endeavors. In fact it was so. The misdeed was a double-edged blade which cut both ways. It will never be known, probably, how near a massacre followed the explosion of indignation at that maniac's murder of the emancipator. Fortunately, for the unsullied robe of Columbia, a hundred advocates of leaving retribution to heaven echoed Garfield's appeasing address. Lincoln met the intermediator, but the ultimate negotiation fell through, like the others all. He came home from City Point with sadness, but from his seed has outcome the Universal Peace Tribunal of the Hague. Professor Martins based his original plea of the Tsars on the Lincolnian Guide for the Soldiers in Our War. End of section 385. This recording is in the public domain.